God speaks to people with the language of signs. On January 26, 2014, Pope Francis prayed for Ukraine, addressing thousands of people at St. Peter's Square in Vatican City. After the prayer, two white doves were released from the papal window and were immediately attacked by a crow and seagull. Those who understand the language could easily read the meaning of this omen. Soon, great forces, the seagull and the crow, would be tearing apart two Slavic nations, the white doves. This omen gave hope to the Ukrainian people, saying that by God's will, the doves would be saved. But it also predicted severe hardship and many victims. The events which could enter into the history of the color revolutions as the most massive human sacrifice yet arrived right on schedule, one month later. For weeks, this European capital has been the scene of a violent uprising. Today, the bloodiest day yet. The protesters are pushing up towards the government district, armed here with Molotov cocktails, but we saw handguns and shotguns too. There are casualties on both sides. Well, she's just said that there are six dead people up there. Not just injured, dead. They said they've been hit by snipers. Today at St. Peter's Square in the Vatican, what started out as a peaceful gesture ended in a fury of feathers. Tens of thousands watched as two children stood alongside Pope Francis at his papal window. The children released a pair of doves. But the birds of peace were quickly attacked by two birds of prey. One dove lost some feathers as it broke free from the gull, but the crow pecked repeatedly at the other dove. It was not clear what happened to the doves as they flew off. This came as the Pope made a plea for peace in Ukraine. <laughs> 